for the emerging economies. This is uh, assertion, reason, type person. For the emerging economies, the transfer of cutting edge technology from advanced countries. In fact, you see recent EF414 jet engine manufacturing deal between United States of America and India. 80% transfer of technology is there. Similarly, there are clauses in the Tata Group manufacturing unit of semiconductors in Gujarat. And there is tie up with one manufacturing company in Taiwan. So, whenever such joint ventures are there, transfer of technology clauses will be there. But one important aspect is for the technology to diffuse, for the knowledge to spill over. What is technology diffusion? When you are getting technology from some foreign country, Indian research, Indian academic institutions, Indian ecosystem that must be in a position to absorb that high-end technology. Then diffusion takes place. What is diffusion? When some good smell is there, somebody is coming with some good smell because of scent, that entire room will have that smell. That is diffusion. Similarly, what happened in China, if you see, transfer of technology has taken place when it went for economic reforms in late 1970s. Foreign companies, some transfer technology, some technology was stolen by China. But ultimately, China became now scientific powerhouse because of good educational institutions, because of a rich ecosystem of uh, this research and development institutions. But in our country, there are problems. I already deliberated when I am discussing National Research Foundation. So, the first statement for emerging economies, transfer of cutting edge technology is vital as it furthers the GDP growth. Yes, well-established R&D landscape is considered essential for knowledge spillovers or knowledge diffusion that translates to increased GDP growth rates. Yes. This is the right explanation for this. And the first A is the right option. Thank you.